I mean, some days you get a ton of them, some days you got a few. But they'll get out here starting at 6 a.m. And each of these horses are ridden on the track for about 20, 25 minutes. And they're ridden not by the jockeys, not by the trainers, but by the exercise riders who are actually working for the trainers. So they'll get them out here, and they get about $18, maybe $15 to $18 each horse that they train in a day. So these exercise riders will, will go through maybe, you know, five, six horses in a day, something like that. And then they'll do they pay it a fee to come out here then? And do yeah, they, in fact, uh, they have a place in the back where uh, they're all the barns. And, and th th there's two tracks There's where they train. Like they'll train on the race track and then there's a training track over there. And they'll go, like here's a couple, and I mean they're coming the opposite way. They don't all go in the same direction. Uh -huh. you know? and, and just when they're getting ready to race for the, the races at the Kentucky Derby, I mean they all, they all train here. You know, if you haven't learned and you haven't gone to Louisville, I mean there are no horses in Louisville. There's no horse farms, there's no horses, there's no barns, there's no babies, there's nothing in Louisville except a very big, wonderful racetrack in the middle of downtown Louisville. It's called the Churchill Downs. All the, all the horses are in Lexington. But they do use this for, for course, training, for the Derby, for races all over the world. They'll pay a fee. Yeah. Uh, is he like a steward down there? Yeah, that guy, well, what, he's like the, the track. Yeah, what he'll do is, more than anything else, it's safety issues. Now, they do have that protective padding. They do have the helmets. But sometimes the riders are thrown, a siren goes off, and the horse is running free. And that guy will kick into high gear and go and try and get the horse that's, that's running free. Yeah. We've actually been here, and we've seen a rider thrown directly in front of us. And, and you know, praise God, they had the helmet and the, the, the protective gear on. Wow. And the sirens went off and such. These, since they're going slow enough, you should, if they do keep coming this way, you should get a good close-up shot of this guy. There's a guy. There's a there's oh, a third a one guy. over there. He's just sitting he's there on a horse. Like he's like this. Just down past. See, he'll just sit there. That. Yeah, he's down. Oh, that's guy. It smells like uh, wet, um, it has rained in the preceding few hours. Or is that the smell of the track? It's the smell of the track. It smells. Yeah, it smells. But um, and they obviously manicure it. They just fluff it up. I mean, really, they fluff it up. Uh, and it's, the, I mean, it's up here, up to and past Armageddon. I mean, it's, it's all, that's all you do. If, and sometimes it'll spill over the side a little bit, and they'll put down a little bit more. But they don't have to do anything more. Oh, come on down here. And what's in the so middle? It doesn't of create much of a. There's hardly any dust effect. No dust at all. No dust yeah. at all. It's wonderful. Although here's the the one problem I would say is that. You know, if you're used to watching the races and hearing the thunder of the hooves, yeah, you guess don't what? Get that. You're not no, no, right. like hamsters. <laughs> yeah. no. no, I mean it. Look at the uh, grandstand. I'll tell you a little about it. If you saw the movie Sea Biscuit, you saw oh, the yeah, grandstand. Yeah. If you saw oh. Secretariat, well, obviously they didn't film it here, but look, this is like the perfect Hollywood track. Yeah. You're at the country club racetrack. Tracks, most of them aren't like this anymore. Yeah. So it's very visually stunning. They filled it with thousands of mannequins. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't pay them, you know. <laughs> so you had all 4,000 of those. You had everybody down here. It's a maximum of about uh, 40,000 people. 40,000 people. By comparison, now, Churchill Downs in Louisville, where it's Louisville, Louisville, where they have the Kentucky Derby, 165,000 people last year. Not this most recent year, but two years ago. It was a record. Yeah. I mean, they were swinging from the steeples, yeah. you know, at <laughs> Churchill Downs. Does that include the infield? Everybody. Yeah. 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 Now, this area is called the Queen Elizabeth Winter Circle. Yes. See, because Queen Elizabeth was here in the 1980s, 1984. And in fact, uh, they named a Winter Circle after her, a race after her. Queen Elizabeth still comes to the region. She was here three years ago. She visits her friends out on Lane's End Farm, Mr. Barrett. Mm -hmm. She has mayors out there. She has horses all over the world, of course. But she has mayors out at Lane's End Farm. And when she was here three years ago, she went on a little field trip. She visited three stud farms. Why? Because her people had narrowed down about three studs per each of her mayors as possible suitors. 
So she went and she eyeballed the one that she wanted mm -hmm. for each of her studs. Now here you go. You get some close up for these characters. All right, look at the saddle. See the saddle? That's McPeak. See, that's McPeak. See McPeak? Remember that. Oh! I mean, they'll go at different speeds. Go to, I mean, it's like they're all doing something different. It's training. Um, but you know what I like? I mean, this, what we're doing now, it is open to the public. But we're going to go now do something that's not open to the public unless you're on a tour today, race day, and you got some more money.